So, if you are anywhere near the age that Nanny and I are, you grew up watching The Wizard of Oz. Came on every year. You'd watch it year after year. Once a year. Didn't have cable back in those days. So, that has brought us today to our little stop on our road trip at the Wizard of Oz Museum. Come enjoy with us. And here are 12 reasons you'll want to visit the Oz Museum in Waymigo, Kansas. Number one. The Oz Museum has such a friendly and informative staff. Welcome to Annan's Front Porch. We are starting today here at the very beginning of the story on the Gale Farm in Kansas because of the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. Al Frankbaum was a resident of Chicago at the time and he was enamored with three different inventions. The invention of spray paint used to get 220 buildings white in time for the fair. The invention of green tinted sunglasses so the patrons weren't blinded by the sunlight glaring on the bodies of water surrounding Chicago. And the first time any cityscape was lit up with electricity. The combination of the three made the city just aglow with that emerald effect, and that is how L. Frank Baum told it in the bedtime stories he would tell his kids, and then incorporated in that very first book published in 1900. Well, Columbian Theater Five Doors Down was built from that same World's Fair, as we had a local resident that attended the fair and was just blown away by the architecture, the culture, and the innovation of it. So he purchased several buildings, stone, columns, art decor, and constructed the Columbian Theater from the ground up. In 1995, they had a grand reopening, hosted an Oz exhibit, celebrating its share and linkage to the Kansas, the arts, and the fair. And it drew in about 13,000 people from 14 different countries, making us realize that the Oz Museum didn't exist anywhere in the world yet. We opened up here in 2003 as a result of that attendance, and we now host the world's largest collection available for public display the 2,000 artifacts, three documentaries, and the movie. So, take all the pictures. If you have any questions, please let us know, and we'll see you back here in Kansas. Okay, number two, the Oz Museum is dog friendly. They do not mind at all if you take your pet with you through the museum as long as you hold them while you're doing so. If your dog is too big to carry through the museum, they do have a, a free doggy daycare that you can use while you're viewing the museum. There's Dorothy. Yeah, good. Bella, are you growling at that puppy? Bella's in need of a groomer. Been on the road. Yeah, there's a munchkin. Bella. Oh, and look at the ruby red slippers. It's awful funny. Bella sees Toto there. Dorothy's holding Toto, and she, she's doing a very light growl. So that was a live puppy. Number three, when you go to the Oz Museum, you're able to relive your childhood memories. See what, is, what is this guy called? A munchkin? Or is it the mayor? Is that the mayor? Oh. There's Dorothy's house that landed on the witch. The Wicked Witch. That was the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh, and that was what made the sister man. Number four. You will learn that L. Frank Baum wrote 14 Oz books. Tick-tock of Oz. Why they had TikTok. And it's funny how he got started because the uh, the story of the Wizard of Oz was actually stories that he told his children when he was putting them to bed at night. His mother-in-law listened to him tell these stories and told him he was crazy if he didn't write them down. So he did. And the rest is history. You'll also be surprised to find number five that there are over 143 books about Oz written by various authors. Number six, the Oz Museum has over 2,000 artifacts. That is a lot to see. Number 
number seven. You'll see some of the original costumes and props from the movie. We thought this was really cool. I actually got to see one of the pair of the ruby red slippers. And you'll be surprised to know how many pairs of ruby red slippers there are. Danny, correct me if I'm wrong, the real Wizard of Oz shoes, the, uh, the one she wore most, is in the Smithsonian. Yeah, but these pair of shoes were created on the 50th anniversary of the Wizard of Oz movie. Number eight, there are so much behind the scenes information available. Things that you never thought about, you could read for hours. See, they also have TV set up throughout the museum so that you can watch and listen to the behind the scenes information. We thought this was really cool. Now let's see, the Scarecrow wanted a brain. brain. Yeah, the Scarecrow wanted a brain. I haven't seen this movie in a while. It looks very real. I used to watch it with dust. Our truck is going to watch every with me whenever it happens. There's the cowardly one. <laughs> Oh, she was almost Dorothy. Shirley Temple almost was Dorothy. Well, did not know that. Dorothy Field was almost the uh, was it Oz? <clears throat> uh, was it? I think Buddy Epson of the Beverly Hillbillies was the Tin Man. Oh, was he? I did not know that. Number nine. You can watch the movie. The movie is on in the back in a little theater and you can just go in there and sit and watch the whole Wizard of Oz movie. We didn't have time to watch the whole thing, but we did sit and watch part of it. And as I said earlier, there are also documentaries all throughout the museum for the behind the scenes information. So there's just a lot to see here. Number 10, you can relive your childhood fears. Did those flying monkeys freak anyone else out when they were a kid? They sure did us. There's the flying monkeys. Number 11, you'll get to visit the Emerald City. It is so cool to walk through the Emerald City. This is the Emerald City. Mm -hmm. Number 12, you'll love the perfect photo op, the hot air balloon. You can stand inside a replica of the hot air balloon and get a really cool picture. And just so you know, Oz is not the only thing in Wamego, Kansas to see. The whole town is set up around the Wizard of Oz. There's a yellow brick road. We are on the yellow brick road. Emerald City Club. For brains do not make one happy, and happiness is the best thing in the world. Oh, 
Well, it looks like this wall has fallen away. Going out this way. One more. Oh one more. <laughs> yeah. You're a little buddy. No. Well, Emerald City must be Emerald. This must be Emerald City. There's a Toto's Tacos. They say it's a great Mexican restaurant. There's an Oz Winery. And be on the lookout while you're going through the city. We actually walk through the city because it's not really big. There are 15 separate statues of Toto throughout the city. That was pretty cool too to see. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, be sure you do that. Yep, and hit that notification bell. Because we got a lot going on. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. Go RV America.